Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these long eccentric earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. I'm also using really simple stuff, only one size of seed beads and regular earring findings. If you're new here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I post new tutorial, usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. If you're not new here, you could definitely skip this intro because I have timestamps but I just have a few words to say. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 8 beads, silver, red and black. Here I'm using silver earring findings and jump rings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle and scissors. Okay, and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm going to start my work by picking up four of these beautiful silver beads. Okay, I have four beads here and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of this thread. And here what I'm going to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through this loop. And I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And now guys I will go through one of those four beads that I have here. And I'm going to take one, go through the following. One more, go through the following and I will repeat this from the four sides here that I have. Okay guys, now I will go through this bit here. And I'm going to take four beads again. Okay, I have four. And I'm going back in circle through this bead. Like this. Then I go through the next silver. Like this. I add one seed bead. Like that. Then I take one more go through the following silver pull and tighten up my work then one more go here through the next silver and now skip this first one here that i started my work from okay now you see what I have, I have the same element like this one and these two elements share this one bead here. If you want you could go and tighten up the middle of this second element. Okay. Now I have this and now guys I'm going through this bead here and I want to repeat this same sequence. I take four, okay four, 
go back in circle go through the following beat now I'm repeating it just it's uh, in the other direction counterclockwise but it's the same thing take one go through the following take one go through the following take one go through the following now don't go through this one and reinforce the middle Okay guys, now I have this, I'm exiting out of this bead here and what I want to do is take two of these beads, I go back like this and you see I will form the same element. I have a cross of four in the middle and beads that are surrounding it okay so now i will go through this one in this direction take just one go in this direction and i have the same element like the others just that those elements share beads here you see If you don't see it, don't worry, just follow the steps, everything will be okay. Okay, so now I'm exiting out of this bit. I want to be exiting out of this one here, skipping this angle bit. And I will make the same element go through this one. then skip this angle bead here and go through this one okay and now i'm going through this silver bead and i add here the edge And I have one more of those elements here and I could go reinforce the center by the way. This is not obligatory but I prefer to do this. Okay. Okay, and I'm here at this edge and I'm taking two seed beads. I go back like this. Then here. Then I want to go through this one. Take one. go here like this okay guys now what i want to do is repeat what i showed you here from this side and in order to do this i will go in this direction and i will exit here through this bit Okay, now I will repeat what I showed you here from this side and I'll be back. Okay guys, and when I repeated all of those steps, this is what I have. I have here my last element added. And what I want to do is just reinforce the central part of it.
Okay, and now what I'm going to do is make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, I'm making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull. I go through the following seed bead and I'm going to cut my thread. Okay guys, and now I'm going to repeat all of those steps and make one more of those elements, but I won't make a knot and cut my thread, but I'll leave my thread attached to this element and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have two similar elements, just I didn't cut my thread to this second element, okay? And now I want to connect those two elements together. First, I'm going to pick up two red beads, one black bead and two red beads. Okay, this is what I have. And as I'm exiting from this end at the edge, I will go in the same place in my first element. Okay, this is what I have. Then I'm going to repeat the same sequence of beads. Okay, I have those. And I'm going like this. Okay. Now for my next step, I wanna go through some beads in this direction. And my goal, guys, is to exit through the next bit that is sticking out the most. Okay, this one, but from this side to the center. Okay, I'm exiting out of this one here, one bit away from here, skipping this one, going through here in this direction. Pay attention. That is why I did this repositioning because I wanted to go out in this direction. Okay, now I take three seed beads, two black beads, and three seed beads. Okay, this is what I have. And I will go in the same place here through this bead. Okay. Now I want to reposition my thread and exit out of this one in this direction from the uh, this side to the center. Now I will turn it because it's easier for me. Now I will take three, two, three. And I will go here through this one like this. Okay, now I have this. Now I will make a repositioning and exit through this one, but like this. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, and I didn't want to make you watch me go through all of those beads but I want to show you the next step which is four red beads, three black beads and four red beads. Okay and now I go in this one that is sticking out which is one bead away from here. and I pull. I have this, so I will make another repositioning and exit out of this one. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going out of here. 
Now I'm going to pick up this sequence 4 red, 3 black, 4 red. Okay, and I have this sequence here. And I'm going through this one that is sticking out or one bit away from where I am now. Okay. Now it comes repositioning and I want to exit from this one in this direction. Okay. And I went around and repositioned. Now I'm going to take five red, four black and five red. Okay. Now this is what I have on my needle. And I will go like this. Now what I want to do is reposition my thread and exit out of here. You could go like this and I will do this off camera and I'll be back. And I went around the edge here. Now I'm exiting here out of this bit and I'm going to take five, four, five. Okay, I have the same sequence that I had here. And I'm going in this seed bit. Okay, guys, now the last thing that I need to do here is make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I go here through some beads. I make a loop. I go once and I go second time through the loop I've made. I pull and I could repeat this knot several more times. When I'm ready, I'm going through the following seed bead and I'm cutting my thread. Now I need to show you the last step where I'm adding my earring finding. Okay, how I do this. I need my jump ring here. I will open this one up. If it's difficult for you, you could do this with a pair of pliers. Okay. I'm going here through this ato at the top, putting the earring findings and close back in the same direction as I opened it. Okay. And then I push here like this and my earring is ready. Okay guys and now my long eccentric earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button because in this way you will know when I post new tutorial usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. If you like, share and comment, I'm so grateful and I'm so happy because you helped me a lot. Thank you so much for watching. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Bye bye from me.